Hey guys, George Donnelly here. Um, so I'm going to do a series of um, five vlogs, each one about one of the pillars um, that I think, um, you know, Pan Money will be working on in 2022 that I think really represent uh, what Bitcoin Cash most needs. Um, you know, you may disagree. Uh, this is just my opinion, and I would love to hear your opinion about what you think uh, would really uh, benefit Bitcoin Cash in 2022. What projects, what, what um, focus, uh, what um, priorities, what strategies do you think would be um, most beneficial to uh, the Bitcoin Cash ecosystem in 2022? Really like to hear your thoughts. So the, here are my thoughts so far. Uh, you know, the first pillar is um, onboarding new app builders, people building um, new things on Bitcoin Cash. I think this is probably the number one most important thing that needs to happen uh, for Bitcoin Cash in 2022. And, uh, you know, just I think just just, you know, what you can imagine is like hundreds, thousands of. Uh, ideally tens of thousands of uh, new people, um, you know, so, some, you know, some from other crypto projects would be great. Uh, but um, here's the thing about trying to attract existing talent in the crypto space. Everybody wants existing talent, right? And other coins have more money on the more cash on the table to pay and attract existing talent, right? Uh, you know, you look like there's a real race right now among, uh, you know, smart contract chains like um, Solana, uh, Hedera, Hashgraph, uh, Avalanche, you know, Ethereum is well funded due to their pre-mine, you know, et cetera, et cetera. There's, there's a long list. And, you know, they're all putting out like very large, uh, very big numbers in terms of, you know, their incentives to attract uh, builders. So people who already know what they're doing, um, you know, are in heavy demand, right? And so just applying some strategic thought, right, can we outbid all of them? No, we can't. We can't. And it's only rational from the point of view of the individual builder, well, I'm going to go where they pay me the most, right? I mean, that's not may not be the only thing that they think about, but that's probably going to be a key factor, right? I mean, people in Bitcoin Cash frequently are here due to uh, ideological, philosophic, philosophical reasons, right? But most people are not like that. Most people are like, well, I'm going to go to the place that's the best funded, right, where I can earn the most. And that's, that's rational. I mean, that's not irrational. That's, that's reasonably rational. Right. So can we compete with these other uh, smart contract coins? Not on money. No, we don't have we mean Bitcoin Cash has raised through flip starters uh, 10,000 uh, BCH over the last uh, couple of years. You know, their like general protocols was uh, financed to the tune of three million dollars, um, you know. So it's not like there's no money in Bitcoin Cash. No, that's certainly not true. But I don't think we can compete in that arena. I mean, Avalanche just did a $230 million private sale. You don't see those kinds of numbers in Bitcoin Cash, right? So we just have to be smart and say, okay, we can't compete on that. So we have to compete on something else, right? And that's where, um, you know, I think we have to attract large numbers, and we have to think about providing all the, you know, the basic tools. This is where the uh, FOSS wallet, you know, with browser extension companion that I've talked about, uh, where the infrastructure business uh, that I've talked about come in. You know, we have to have these. I mean, you know, if we're already down in terms of how, you know, like not having tens of millions of dollars in developer incentives, like. We can't also not have sufficient infrastructure. I mean, you know, like we can 
Maybe there are four or five factors that people are making decisions on as to which coin they're going to build on. And like, okay, maybe we can't match uh, other coins in terms of their, you know, their budgets, their, their rewards, their treasuries, etc. But we can't also fail in terms of infrastructure, right? Like we have to, you know, like if you're familiar with the uh, book uh, Blue Ocean Strategy, I think it's called, you know, like, like we can not be number one in one or two things, but we can't not be number one in all things, right? We have to... We have to shine in something. We have to pick something to strategically focus on. We can't just be subpar in everything, right? So, um, you know, so those things are aspects of this pillar. Um, you know, I think it, it, it can also work to our benefit, the uh, local merchant adoption, right? Because people, builders who build on Bitcoin Cash and then they're going to earn Bitcoin Cash, right? Then they can... Uh, cash they can they can spend it at local merchants or uh, you know if like let's say we we get a bunch of developers in uh, Kuala Lumpur well uh, Kuala Lumpur is going to be hard because um, um, you know Indonesia is uh, has I think has made illegal like using crypto as cash but you know let's say we get a batch of valuable new builders in um, Lagos, Nigeria, you know, like, so then we can say, okay, you know, we, we want to support you. We want you to be able to, you know, like earn your, you know, you can earn BCH building your apps. And then an advantage you have by working on BCH is, you know, we have this merchant adoption expertise. So we're going to onboard all the merchants you need. So, you know, you, you, your earnings never have to touch fiat. So you don't have to worry about, you know, your local government uh, or central bank or whatever hard time they want to give, right? And then we have cash fusion, right? So they can uh, achieve a certain level of uh, anonymity uh, with, you know, their earnings. And um, then they can ex kind of exist under the radar, uh, maybe without ever touching fiat, right? Which is something that you're not going to find really common with other coins that we might be competing with, right? Um and then, you know, but I think that we have to, like, so we can't win the battle of, of, of who's going to pay the most to, to attract existing crypto talent, right? Um, so we have to take a different approach. I think Mainnet got cash from uh, the Redux Cash guys. Uh, is really uh, breaking ground here because it's a project. I think it was funded to the tune of about 750 BCH via Flipstarter. And really, um, the idea here is that um, the libraries and whatnot are going to make it easy, you know, very easy to access otherwise, um, you know, complex uh, BCH development tasks so that um, you know, we can say onboard people who know nothing or very little, we can bring them up to speed. Um, you know, hopefully, you know, we can develop some, uh, you know, self study courses to bring people up to speed. And then they can develop things with mainnet that cash and other things like that. You know, there's a Python library, maybe I think it called BitCache um, by uh, for, uh, the developer's name escapes me. Um, I know he's French. Um, I think he did only coins as well. Um, you know, and so, you know, we can make these kinds of tools because Python and JavaScript are very accessible for newbies to learn, right? It may not, that may net that cache. I'm pretty sure that's JavaScript. So, um, you know, we can develop these kinds of tools. We can have the white label wallets. Um, you know, we can have the reliable infrastructure, uh, you know, and then we can have mentoring, uh, for example, at forum.bitcoincash.site. Um, and, uh, you know, we can, we can get some experienced technical guys uh, to, to be available to, to mentor, you know some stuff study courses and now we have the makings of a program that could potentially onboard 100,000 new BCH builders right and a pipeline for turning that for turning the
these people are interested in building into real builders, right? And then maybe we have a, a business accelerator, right? Or, or just use flip starters. Um, and, and then there's a way for them to get seed funding, right? And then there are, there's a whole um, universe of VC funds and, and, and whatnot. You know, and so we now we have a pipeline, right, that nobody else is probably going to have. And, and the local adoption feeds into this, not just in the way I said before, but also because as we do local events, as we onboard new people, we can present this pipeline as an opportunity for them to change their lives, right? And, we're, and, and by doing all this, we're reaching people that other coins are not reaching, right? We're kind of putting in a little more elbow grease, a little more shoe leather. Um, you know, we're thinking more strategically. We're thinking beyond the limits of the current crypto ecosystem. So that's the first pillar of the, um, the pan money uh, plan for, um, you know, for building Bitcoin Cash in 2022 on board lots of app builders. So that's that, and uh, there'll be another one soon, and let's keep building Bitcoin Cash.